Uh, Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl and that. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, y'all already know what time it is. Uh, it's Love and Marriage Huntsville, season four, <laughs> episode two. You Scott to be lying. Yeah, my Listen, this whole episode was a whole fool that could have been kept in the archives, but we go. We gonna give y'all what go we ahead got and run from it, right? though, man. So first of all, we start off. We got Martell, right? Clearly, Martell is trying to find his footing, rebrand himself, like really just trying to get that money and like, cause the builder's license is kind of like been an afterthought. If you, yeah, if we, you we, ain't even we, we ain't even pursuing that no more. We <laughs> getting the bathtub with roses now, man. We ain't even with, doing that no more. With no water, <laughs> no water. So. In this episode, we see that Martell has new management or assistant. I can't remember which one. Doesn't matter. Name is Melanikia or something. No, that's a cancer, isn't it? Or a mole or something. Mel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, in this episode, we also see that he invited Destiny to come over to bring him some baby oil because you got um, Neville and the assistant manager slash manager was like, listen, you... We trying to do this photo shoot and whatnot, but we need you. We need you all up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, what did he say on um the movie? It was in Baby Chickens. It was oh. all on up. Oh, uh, uh, Jamie Foxx. Yeah. So we need to get him all on up. So play that game. So he said, Destiny lives close enough by. She can go ahead and bring me some of that Madonna over here. I was like, okay, way to plug your friend's business yes, into indeed, this episode. Yes, indeed, man. But she came over with regular Johnson and Johnson. <laughs> I was like, man, you should have put a sticker over this. Hey, man, shoot, Johnson Johnson worked, but hey, we ain't gonna fly past this, man. What? God darn, Neville boy is an amazing photographer, man. Yes. Did y'all see them pictures, man? I said, God darn. More I said, probably I'm, a, a great editor. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I'm like, if I'm, if I'm coming through Huntsville, I might don't stop by your studio, bro, and get some pics. Hey, hey, sit. Yeah, man. <laughs> Jump in that bathtub, you know? Not that one. Not that one. Uh-uh. Not today. So once Destiny got there, you know, they started having a conversation about how they both are kind of in parallel lives, lifestyles right now. Divorce, trying to figure out how to co-parent. Uh, rebuild. All, and rebuild, yeah. rebrand, do all that good stuff and whatnot. They kind of played with the thing of... Maybe they would get into a little flirting or whatever, but it was all a play up for yeah. us to come in to see what the episode was about. It was not I mean, like I mean, they got all. me. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. That's the Martell gonna be messing around. No. Like, what kind of bull skit is this? But uh yeah. She uh -huh. won't have no parts of seeing his chest is yeah, out enough or nothing. See you like put that put the road, put that away. <laughs> and I need to get up out of here and whatnot. So we also learned, which I knew about this from social media that Martell had dibbled and dabbled into a children's book and whatnot. I was like, I ain't even mad at you. Get, right. If the coin is out there and you're not hustling right. and scheming, do what you got to do to get that That's coin. Right. I ain't yeah, mad just at make, you. Just make sure it's legal. Yeah. <laughs> That's you, all. Look, because you got plenty of mouths to feed, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> man. Uh, plenty of them. Destiny also let uh, Martell know in this episode, listen, me and your wife are in a bad place. What had happened in L.A. was she overheard me and Tisha having a conversation about her. So now we, we thought we could get back on a level playing field, but we really not. So Martel was like, so basically <laughs> you now have an enemy because if you're not her friend, you are enemy. And the way things are going, I don't think he's wrong about that. Like, I mean, he should know because they, they was like that when they were together. We, they we, were, we, and we I've been trying it. to tell people yep. that mm -hmm. they are one and the freaking same. When they are on a, when they are together, yeah. everybody else on the outside are enemies. You can get trampled just, over, yeah. skin rolled over. That's why I agree. It's just like on uh, Bel Air. With Jeffrey Toaf, Uncle Phil, you steamroll anybody to get in your way. And that's what and that they did. Them. And then when they were against each other, it's yep. each other. Mm-hmm. We don't yeah. see, we this the fourth season, y'all. Y'all can't <laughs> can't see that. So speaking of Mel, we see that Mel goes and pays Stormy a visit. So I'm figuring at this point, Stormy is going to be the new like friend of the show to Mel. Like what mm. Destiny came in as, I they think they're okay. going to switch it and bring Stormy in because we're starting to see her more and more and she was really integrated into this episode. Yeah, she so, was. We all know that we had a launch some episodes ago, the one that they put Tisha out of the, the event <laughs> for <laughs> the skincare line that Mel was launching and whatnot that never kind of came into fruition. I didn't understand it. Y'all couldn't make me understand. I was like, <laughs> So you have a launch, kind of like the Kenya Moore thing. You have a launch for a product that's not ready yet? Yeah. Well, evidently we're, we're back there. So she decided to go 
and have um, pretty much like an impromptu consultation, um, a meeting of the minds with Stormy about, you know, what should I do? How should I handle inventory? And Stormy was like, if you don't get nothing else straight, you need a great inventory manager. You right. don't want too much, and then you don't sell it, and your <clears> stuff <throat> goes stale, and you don't want to have not enough, right. and you sell out, and people, the demand is there, but you can't fulfill. Right. But in the era where we are now, ain't nobody really getting nothing. Yeah. <laughs> like, you don't know when nothing's going to come in. Like, when the pandemic first hit, you couldn't get lumber. You could, And even now, I went to the dentist last week. And they were like, we can't even get floss. Yeah, which is I was crazy. like, what? They was like, yeah, that's we crazy. the all mm -hmm. the floss that we can use now is the floss that nobody likes. Like the floss is at the yeah. bottom yeah. of the bin <laughs> that nobody likes, and we just have to make it work. And I said that makes sense because I like this Oral B yep. floss in the blue box, and I can't find it nowhere. And they said, yeah, it's like in the middle of the ocean on freight somewhere <laughs> on a freight. Like I'm but, like, wow. But like we said this season that when they throw out these nuggets out here for us to help us in our life and Stormy threw a nugget out there and I don't know if y'all caught it. What's that? She told Mel that when I started this business, I didn't have a clue mm -mm. of what I was doing. I didn't know nothing about inventory. I didn't know nothing about getting on warehouses, yep. none of that stuff. I just knew I wanted to do it. And she did it. And that's the secret. So if you got a business you want to start, you ain't got to know everything right now. Just start pursuing it, and everything will will unfold for you. We maybe one day we may have to tell you our story because that's us too. Yeah. Every, all our ventures always start real small, and then we don't know what we're doing, and then, and then, then it just like, then it just open up for you, man. Then you got Walmart trying to sue you. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a real story. Yeah. Um, now I don't know a lot about Stormy in real life. Like when I say I invest zero bucks in these people's real lives, I don't know. So I don't really even know like what's her brand. Is she a, to be trusted? Because sometimes you can speak highly of people and they be like, uh oh, she a scammer. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't I don't invest that kind of time. I look at the show, I review what I just watched. Yep. Nothing more, nothing freaking less. I don't have it. I've had it out of time. I really don't. Also in this scene right here, Mel invited Stormy over to her pajama party. So this is what we learned that Stormy also ain't feeling Tiffany. Yeah. She was like, the girl is a little weird. <laughs> like she even jumped into my, and on the sidebar was like, basically trying to introduce herself and trying to make nice or whatever. Stormy was like, the girl weird. <laughs> the girl weird. She said, my decimate lets me know I can't rock with people what, like her that. Her what now? Her decimate. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't discernment no more. It's decimate. Yeah, Stormy was like, I, 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 I cannot. So over there, we see Tisha and Marcel, and Wanda comes in, yo. First of all, we we talked about Scott Manor for a good little five minutes. <sighs> Golly, <laughs> Scott Manor is going through it. It doesn't seem like it's going to be up right <laughs> and, and ready to be moved in anytime. So according to what they're saying. It, it, I don't know. But Wanda comes in, yo. And just like black folks, and <laughs> she was like, so y'all want to invest in my food truck or what? I said, wait, how the, how the hell did we get here? No, and Marcel said no, the same thing. No, no. Tisha said that they had already given her, she had already given her the money for the truck. Did she? I think she already got the money for the truck. Oh, I, I hear so. wrong. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Because she's over here looking for the money. True, true. Yeah. But Tisha was acting like it's already done. Like Marceau didn't it have, is already that done. Marceau ain't had no say in that. It's it's the word of mouth contract. It's already done. Now we gotta convince Marceau to make write the check. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, he's the right check. That's all it is. So Marceau was like, wait, 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 wait. This was a conversation that we had. And what I don't want to do is keep throwing my money into things that you think is a cute little idea that you haven't yeah. thought all the way through. And people do that. When they think you have the money to blow or to waste, everything that they can think of, they think you're supposed to be like, mm. oh, here. Oh, oh, no, no. I'm not, not throwing <laughs> no money into no food truck. And then when he asked her, said, so what is it that you're going to be cooking on the food truck? <laughs> she said, well, I'm really good at loaded potatoes. Now, like, I'm not saying that you can't make a food truck out of loaded potatoes. What I am saying is... You need more than that. <laughs> it seemed like she pulled that out of her right, A right yeah. there. <laughs> like, and she said, I mean, loaded like like me, like good. And hey, <laughs> hey, look. Hey, look. Miss Wanda, you need to go on uh, TikTok and watch Mr. Ken. 
Yeah, <laughs> please. <laughs> And start making you some place and bringing them out the streets and let and people record wagon. so we can see what you got before you open that food truck up, man. Listen, <laughs> just go to TikTok and do hashtag death plates. Yeah. I watch it every freak day. Hey, this is Mr. Kid. Yeah. <laughs> Today I got smothered pork chop and gravy. Macaroni and cheese. <laughs> and a nice cheap soda and water. Yep. <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Kid. Yeah, man. <laughs> So, Wanda was like, you know, Wanda going to come with the mess. Yeah. Listen, you know I'm on social media. And <laughs> social media, when stuff go wrong and they attack my daughter, you know I'm coming. I'm coming swing. And I said, what don't happen next? Well, I guess the easier question would be, what is not happening on social media right. when it comes to the, the show, all of this? Well, I didn't ever hear this. I guess my ear wasn't to the street on this one. Something about Martel and Marceau sharing an apartment so that they can do their dirt together. And she wants to know, was that true? And in pure Marceau fashion, I'm not going to answer, answer that. Because <laughs> why? If, but, if you think you know the answer to this question, why even, Why am I going to entertain you with an answer? Because you're not going to believe it anyway. But I was trying to figure out what was the end goal. So if he did stay with Martel, what? 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 Tisha unless Tisha unless like, some, this is a rumor on social media that we don't know nothing about about this apartment. So Tisha pretty much was like, you know what? Squash what you heard. I don't believe it. And I said, so you let this conversation go on for Let this interrogation go on for like 30 minutes. <laughs> Just for you to be like, mom. I, nah, I don't believe any of it. Nah. <laughs> Kimmy and Maurice, they don't walk up in Jalen's house all up. <laughs> In pure parent fashion. Yeah. <laughs> Not announced using their emergency key to come up and through that. And it was like, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I said, one day y'all gonna come in there, y'all gonna see something uh -huh. that y'all ain't gonna be able to unsee. They gonna be in there on that couch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on the island. Uh-huh. Getting in <laughs> with a whole bunch of stuff going on that y'all don't need to be privy to. Uh -huh. And whatnot. So this was an opportunity for Jalen to be like, listen. It seems like everybody on the internet know more about my family than yeah, I, I do. do. Yeah. So I just want to come up, come, come straight with it. Y'all okay? <laughs> like, <laughs> is everything, you know, good? Because what I don't want is to come around to the house and all of a sudden Maurice is on a business trip and whatnot. Like y'all trying to front and fake in front of me. Like what's going on? You know, I, I, I'm grown. Let me know what's going on. And Kimmy let him know that, no, you know, we're in a yeah. good place. There was questions to be asked. I still have questions because I'm still sitting here like in my own mind. I'm like, I don't believe Maurice did anything, but at the same time, why you lie? Yeah. Why'd you point blank lie and say that no? Like, what was that all about? But at the same time, I'm like, I, I Yeah, because y'all, you know, just on a boys trip, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> was it a way to protect the fact that y'all have bro code and you don't speak of what you've been, you know, a witness to? I don't know. I Like, I try to think of it all kinds of ways, but to, to blankly lie just makes, it makes it's everything, everything look, sus yeah. suspect at this point. Yeah, it makes the whole story fall apart. It does. I, 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 I don't know. It do. I don't know. But I was laughing at Jayla because Jayla was like, listen, you know, it's hard out here for a pimp. Gas don't win up. <laughs> you want me to babysit your dog over at your house? I'd rather bring the face the dog over, over here. here. You know, we need to stock this liquor cabinet up. Oh, I kind of started doing that with the liquor y'all yeah, don't At your drink. house. Yeah. I said, <laughs> if that ain't black, did he really like just stock up at your house? Yeah. <laughs> I've heard people doing that too. Certainly if you like a person that just like buys stuff when they're on vacation and stuff, you taste it, you don't like it. Next thing you know, it ain't there no more. Like white Hennessy. Don't buy no, that. I agree to say, yeah. Do y'all like it. for those of y'all who have got white Hennessy when you were international, you like it? What you think about it? We've had a bottle for three yeah. years. <laughs> and it just got finished like like last week. Yeah. From like 2018. Yeah, so yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Worst, worst thing ever. Where did we get it from? Um, Jamaica. Well, Puerto Rico. Yeah, Puerto Rico. Yeah. Um, so y'all. Yeah. So at, we had this day going pajama party and whatnot. It was set up really, really cute. But real fact, this was just a powwow to talk about Tisha, in my opinion. It was. Tisha's cousin is there, which I feel that this girl's discernment should have been on point. Yes, you may be friends with Mel and whatnot, but at the point when you realize that your girl and your cousin got a beef going on, I would have politely been like, you know what? 
I'll catch you on something else, another event right. where we, because this is too intimate for y'all to be in such a bad place and I be a part of it because it looks messy on my part. That's yeah. my cousin. Mm -hmm. Uh-uh. Because at the end of this, I still got to go to the family reunions. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, so then we got Kimmy there and whatnot. And then there's just this conversation and Kimmy said what I said. If you didn't want to um, invite Tisha, Tisha why, why are, are we, we talking, talking about, about her? Tisha? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't want to hear, but we're having a whole conversation about it. Mm -hmm. Then Kiki is being loose at the lips, giving up some intel that she shouldn't be bringing up because Mel is on this whole thing with, in my opinion, my man cheated. If he's capable of cheating and y'all, y'all men men's probably cheated too. Yep. I'm not mad at that. But at the same time, just because yours did, you can't put it on everybody else's. If you have proof of that, bring it. Bring it, it out, yeah. Bring it. Because you speak so confidently of it, bring it out. <laughs> right. Because at this point, you got people's mm -hmm. lives in the balance. Like, and at real facts, there is nothing like looking like a fool and looking like a fool on national TV. So if you know something, say it. Right. Because she keeps making it like, yeah, that's what I thought mine was. And da 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 da, -da yeah. and blah, blah, blah. What? Just bring it out. And they asked Kimmy what she thought about the whole thing. Kimmy is sticking to her guns. Like, listen, there are some things that's just, they're non-negotiables for me. But I don't think that this is what had happened. Mm -hmm. Was it Was it something I wanted to happen? No, no. I don't like the attention yeah. that it's bringing. Because she was like, it's just my soul being irresponsible. It is. It <laughs> yeah. is. Um, and the cousin was like, yeah, you know. She's had to question some things in her marriage and deal with some things in her marriage. Ha <laughs> Don't talk about the stuff that your family told you about their stuff and confidence yeah. with people that clearly have an issue with them right now. Exactly. Because this is not a kumbaya, ooh, you know, a concerning let's talk about our friends um, situation to see how we can work her through this. This is intel. <laughs> yeah. And, and for what? So then we have Tiffany and Kimmy, because you know, at the uh, reunion, <laughs> Kimmy was like, listen, she won't talk about transparency. Her tail got fired yeah, from oh, the Chamber yeah. of Commerce, and it came from a reliable source. So now we have Tiffany. She's still denying it, man. She's still denying it. She says she quit for another opportunity. What it, what, this is... I've been in corporate but, America a very long time. You had the opportunity to quit and, and save face. But at the end of the day, it's not the end of the earth to get fired. No. You can get people fired get, for everything. People get fired for all kinds of stuff. That's the environment that we have. People are getting fired. Whether they good at their job, yep. fair at their job, or bad at their job. These companies just getting rid of people. For no reason at all. And now they need them back. Yeah, and then they give a sign-on bonuses. Yeah, all these sign-on bonuses and stuff. Like, keep give the so, people bonuses so, to stay. So, which means you had the money to pay them while they was there. Oh, absolutely. So now everybody going AWOL and getting that unemployment money. Now all of a sudden, hey, we give you a thousand dollars and pay you double. Where that was at when I was working there? You ain't never lying. Because <laughs> all you wanted to do was uh, feed me lunch and keep me at my desk, right? Working through my thirty. <laughs> but um. So now we have Stormy. Stormy came over there and was like, what y'all talking about? Because <clears throat> Tiffany and Kimmy decided, you know what? Let's just squash it and let bygones be bygones at this point. Let's just go ahead and try to build from what we got going on right now. Um, I, and like Kimmy said, Kimmy said, when I say things, don't put an emotion behind it that I don't have. Right. That is so me. Me and Kimmy yeah. are like the same person. Like, I say what I got to say. But at the end of the day, I said it, and I ain't thinking no more about it. But you don't attach the emotion to it yeah. that I'm mad about something. I'm like, I'm not mad about it. I said what I said, and either we're going to move on from it or we're not. Right. So, and and Tiffany was like, you know what? Kimmy has always been straightforward, a woman of her word. So if she said we don't have no problem, we, we don't, don't have, have no problem. problem. And then Stormy came over and was like, well, what y'all talking about? <laughs> I said, Lord, here comes Stormy staring the pot. Yep. And Kimmy said, we just talked about how we going to... Let bygones be bygones. It is what it is. And then she was like, but you did get fired from the Chamber of Commerce, yeah. right? And this is where Tiffany always puts her foot in her mouth. She was like, you know what? We're talking about something that happened so long ago, like so long ago, kind of like when you were a teenager. I was like, 
Mm -hmm. Kimmy says, oh, so you trying to be funny. Yeah, uh-huh. You trying to be smart. You trying to be real cute at the mouth. Uh -huh. See, this is the stuff that keeps people on your age. Yup. <laughs> we not gonna play with, we not playing with Kimmy. At all, period. I don't know what this episode and why we had this episode, but we had it. And now we can't get that hour of our time back. <laughs> so we're gonna move on with our Sunday. We'll see y'all in the next video. Straight from the VA. Yeah. Turn it south. Two up. Two, Two down. down. Holla. Holla. Boo. <laughs> <laughs>